Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the 28th tutorial on algorithmic trading for beginners. And in this tutorial, we're going to be testing our very own algorithmic trading system. So as you can see in front of you on your screen here, we have already started testing our system a little bit in the previous tutorial. And um, these are the results that we've got so far. Um, so from January to July, the system was tested from January to July 2000. Uh, 14 and uh, there's as you can see there's lots and lots of trades based simply put there's one trade per day because um, it just opens an order at nine o'clock every day at this stage um, and um, this is the result that we got there was like over 127 trades and uh, from 10,000 it went up to uh, 11,435 dollars um, so that's that's a very good result um, there's lots of um, uh, elements to this testing, there's results, graph, report, journal, settings, and so on. So that's what we're going to be discussing today, how to um, uh, use this uh, strategy tester. But uh, we will uh, we'll only have a uh, brief overview of uh, the strategy tester because uh, it's such a complicated beast that uh, you need uh, much more than just one tutorial to understand it properly and how to use it um, to its full extent but we'll cover all the basics today uh, just so that you can uh, also quickly uh, understand if your strategy uh, is worth working on or not. Um, so I'm just going to bring up the uh, magnifying glass and uh, this should uh, help you uh, see better what's going on so if you look at the bottom part of my screen you can see um, what uh, I'm showing like it's it's magnifying it uh, a little bit so you can actually read the text um, so this is a strategy tester and the way to bring it up there's a button over here up in the MetaTrader 4 uh, which toggles uh, the strategy tester uh, here in the first line, you need to select your system or your uh, expert advisor. For us, it's going to be syst simple system. Um, next, you need to select uh, the currency pair on which you want to trade. Uh, for us, it's going to be British pound dollar, but you can select any other uh, currency pair if you like. Uh, model. No, we're not going to go into too much detail about this, but uh, just... Uh, probably stick to either every tick on control points control points is faster every tick is more quality modeling so we'll stick we'll go with control points for now uh, then on the right here we have a period is which period of the chart you want to use and this is important because we were developing our system for the one hour chart we're going to be using the h1 period uh, spread current um, well, uh, ch check with your um, uh, broker what uh, their average spread is and you can set it here if you want or you can just use the current spread that they have on the market. Um, optimization, for now we'll just uh, keep that off. Um, uh, use date is uh, if you want to specify a, a range of dates within uh, which you want to run the test. Visual mode, um, I recommend uh, keeping it on uh, because that way you will see uh, some a chart similar to this. So you won't just see the results, but you'll actually see um, uh, where the tr trades were conducted on a chart. Um, skip to, uh, don't worry about that. If that's, that's rarely used, that's if you want to skip part of your testing and, and view a certain uh, day somewhere in the middle of your test. Um, so uh, then you need to also remember about these uh, uh, buttons over here. So modify expert that opens MQL4, open chart. Um, I never use that button actually. Uh, symbol properties, um, it uh, tells you the properties of the symbol. Similar, same thing, I, I don't often use this button. Expert properties is a very important button. If we click expert properties, um, here uh, we can set uh, certain uh, rules around the testing. Um, probably your uh, um, your by default your expert advisor has this uh, uh, checkbox ticked. So I'd like to ask you to untick it, please, because this is a genetic algorithm. We won't go into detail what it is now. We just need to know that we won't be using the genetic algorithm in this uh, forex tutorials for um, uh, beginners, of course, because. Uh, it is um, a bit more complex and we'll talk about it in a more advanced course. So please uncheck that. Um, uh, 
probably leave these settings at, at their defaults uh, initial deposit and um, uh, the currency and long and short and uh, balance just that's that's all fine um, optimization also we won't worry about this in uh, this uh, beginners course um, uh, and uh, um, these are just uh, more uh, like they're just a bit more complicated parameters or parameters that will allow you to enhance your uh, optimization of expert advisors um, so inputs um, this is uh, the uh, main uh, screen that you'll you need to work with this is where you change the input parameters of the expert advisor for testing so the start hour uh, is nine at the moment that's what we think is the best hour take profit stop loss that's what we have chosen for our expert advisor those are the defaults and lots is one so um, I'm just going to click OK here and I'm going to run the test as we did last time just uh, by clicking start as you can see up here what happened is um, the test has run and we, we're going to this gives us pretty much the same result as previously if we're going to graph here we can see how the balance changed with time uh, results the results tab will just show you uh, details on every order that was open and how it was closed whether it was take profit stop loss on the right side of results uh, you can see how the balance is increasing with time, which is good. That means um, uh, the system is making profit. Uh, the re report will tell you a lot of details about what happened. So if you look at the bottom where the screen is magnified, I'll try not to move my mouse so that you can read. Um, uh, so bars in test tells you how many bars there were in test. We won't go through uh, in detail through this report. We'll just go through to the main point. So uh, initial deposit is how much money you had originally. Uh, total net profits how much money was earned and um, absolute drawdown is how what the maximum drawdown was and total trades is how many trades were conducted so there's more details on this report which you can look up on the internet or um, uh, you're welcome to uh, look into my other courses where we discuss this in detail we won't be using these at this stage uh, journal um, is a, a trading journal of the expert and the terminal and tells us what's happening uh, in real time. So what we are going to do now and uh, why we have this tutorial in this course is because I would like to actually use the strategy tester to uh, validate uh, our system. And how, how are we going to do that? Well, uh, let's have a look quickly. Uh, if we look at the chart now, the way we conduct um, trades, or well, let's go back to the original chart. The way we conduct trades is we always look at a certain hour. We look at nine o'clock, right? We we try to uh, enter at nine o'clock, and that that is something we came up with by ourselves. But now that we have an expert advisor created, we can actually use it to validate and check if that is indeed the right time to enter. Maybe maybe uh, it's uh, it's not the right time to enter maybe 10 o'clock is the right time maybe uh, 15 uh, or 3 o'clock in the evening is the right time to enter so how are we going to do that we're going to go into expert properties and we're going to set some optimization parameters so uh, we're going to optimize uh, start hour then we're going to optimize take profit and we're going to optimize stop loss that means we're going to ask the uh, uh, terminal to run through a lot of uh, like many 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 uh, iterations of this um, uh, of the system uh, and uh, run them on the British pound dollar all on the same time for all on the same uh, period of time and see which one's the best so we're going to optimize start hour in the period between zero uh, between zero and 23 with a step of one that means that uh, we'll start at zero, then we'll go to one, to two, to three, and so on, and to 23 in the end. So we'll check all those hours. Also, we'll check the take profit. So we'll start with 10, we'll go with a step of 10, and we'll go up to 120. And same thing for stop loss, 10, 10, and 120. So basically, this gives us a massive combination of parameters. So there's 24 here. There's um, uh, quite quite a few here. There's um, what, uh, 10 um 12 12 here and 12 here right so if you multiply multiply all of those 
then um, you'll get a massive combination of uh, parameters. And uh, the, But the tester will actually check all of them for us and tell us which is the best one. And that way we'll know which is the best hour, take profit and stop loss to set. We're not optimizing lots because lots just depends on uh, our um, uh, initial deposit and uh, we're just gonna keep it at one lot. So we'll click OK. Then we'll tick this uh, optimization um, uh, box here and then we'll just start. And as you can see, something's happening. There's a total of 3,456 parameters. The optimization results, some results, but the most important is the optimization graph. So in this optimization graph, it's telling us on the right, you can see the profit, and at the bottom is the iteration that it's, uh, gone, uh, it's going through. And um, uh, so, yeah, we just have to wait and see uh, which is going to be the most profitable. Let's go back to settings and uh, we're already halfway through or uh, nearly nearly halfway through. Um, and uh, uh, these are the results so far. And uh, as you can see, this, they were originally negative and there are some very negative results. If you look on the right here, I'll try not to move my mouse again so that you can uh, follow on the magnifier. Um, the hour is increasing, so take profit and stop loss are fixed. And then take profit uh, increases by one and then hour increases again. So basically it's just running through all possible combinations of those parameters as we set them. And uh, so it's gonna get to 120 and then stop loss is gonna go up to 20 and, and starts again. So that's exactly what you're seeing on the chart. Um, and uh, these blue dots are every single result that uh, uh, of those combinations. All right, so we're nearly finished. There we go. So if we go optimization graph um, and we sort by profit, we can see that the most profitable combination yielded $8,000 in um, six months. That's nearly double of our initial $10,000. So let's set those input parameters and let's see what that is. Um, or we can go back here. As you can see here on the right, the start hour is eight, take profit is 40 and stop loss is 60. So the actual best hour was actually eight, not nine. And um, let's see how this goes. So right click, click set input parameters. The optimization automatically comes off. Uh, you switch visual mode back on and then you click start. And there you go. So that is your best set of parameters. Um, you can't really tell much from here, but you can see that the trades are being opened at I'll go down on the in the magnifier you can see that the trades are being opened at eight o'clock which is correct and if we go to the graph you can see wow that is very impressive that went from ten thousand to eighteen thousand dollars in six months and that that not only not only uh, validates our system we thought it was nine o'clock but it's actually ten o'clock oh sorry it's actually eight o'clock so not that big a difference so we were very close and that means that uh, what we saw visually and we thought was right is actually a valid uh, pattern on the market and it can uh, yield results and the fact uh, that it can yield really results is backed by this amazing chart so that's simply how you test uh, systems here we can choose another set of parameters uh, let's take uh, let's take this one for example and we set input parameters here and um, uh, if we run it again and we look at the result, the graph, you see now we have a different chart and this one is more gradually increasing. So it doesn't have that very uh, rapid increase at the start, but it's gradually increasing throughout the year, which is great. Um, so that's simply uh, how, that's how you optimize, uh, uh, your expert advisors in a nutshell. And, um, uh, there are more. Com there are. My there is much more to optimization, and for example, like we can change this to a two D surface and um, change the axes around and see different results here, and uh, like look at uh, look at colors and op optimize that way. We can um, export the res these results to Excel. We can uh, go here and use the genetic algorithm. We can play around with these optimization parameters. Uh, so optimization is a really uh, fun and interesting part of algorithmic trading systems and it is actually very important because it allows you to um, make the maximum of your uh, trading system and uh, also you uh, don't only 
or you can not only optimize your own systems, but you can optimize commercial systems which you buy. So uh, having said that, I would like to um, encourage you to uh, have a, a look at my uh, optimization course. Uh, and um, you can find the course on uh, www.forexboat.com and uh, have a look and think if it is relevant to you and if optimization is something that you will be using going forward. And uh, if so, then I do encourage you to uh, consider participating in that course. And um, so that's all for this tutorial. Uh, in the next one, we will uh, finally complete our uh, trading system by adding uh, a, an MA a moving average filter. And um, um, until then, happy coding.